Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks, you can condense the data in your company file to remove old transactions. This removes detailed transactions prior to a specified date and replaces them with general journal entries. It can also remove inactive list records from your company file. This can often improve performance in company files with a high volume of transactions entered. To condense data, select File, Utilities, Condense Data from the menu bar. If needed, enter the password for the admin account for the company file. If one hasn't been created, you must create one in the sensitive data protection window that appears and then click the OK button to continue. At that point, answer the questions in each screen of the condensed data wizard that appears and click the next button to continue through all the screens. In the first screen, be sure to select the Transactions Before a Specific Date option button and then select the date before which you want the transactions removed from the adjacent calendar drop-down. Be careful not to select the All Transactions option button as doing that will remove all transactions from the company file. Continue answering questions in each screen and clicking the Next button until you must back up the company file and begin the condensed procedure. At that point, click the Begin Condense button. During this process, an additional copy of your company file, called the Archive Copy, is created. The Archive Copy contains a copy of your company's data before any transactions are removed. The Archive Copy's file name will contain the date you run the condensed process, your company name, and the label Copy. You should never use the Archive Copy for active data entry. You can use the archive copy to run reports for those periods in which transactions have already been condensed. If the condensed process completes successfully, the archive copy and the condensed data files coexist on your disk. To keep a separate archive in another location, you must back up the archive file in a separate backup process if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.